younger citizens of the internet, you can call me Nitro Indigo, and welcome back to my extremely riveting Let's Play of the Dog Island. In the last episode, we challenged the Victory Gang to a really, really, really riveting game of hide and seek, and then met Frances again and learned that she thinks that she killed her friend and her family has moved to Zumi Village. And also a member of the Victory Dog member of the Victory Dogs wants to challenge us there. And in this episode, I'm going to go to Zumi Village. And I think this plot point that's coming up is one of my examples of why this game's story is what makes it special. What's up? You gave him Bill's message. Hmm. A message from Bill, hey you, don't say. Know what? I don't trust you. I only trust dogs who can catch bugs better than I can. And this is our introduction to a new mechanic, bug catching. If you want my help, you've got to catch a certain bug for me and it's capitalised for some reason. Otherwise, I won't help you. It's a very pretty white colour. It's called a cabbage white butterfly. I like to use this cabbage butterfly, but you really think there's a fancy? What kind of dystopian society is this? If you catch this butterfly, then you'll have my trust. Not that I have anything against cabbage white butterflies, it's just they're not really that rare. Anyway, the mechanic is that basically if you see bugs in the open world, you can catch them, and then in order to actually catch them, there's a moving bar, and you have to shake your Wii remote when it's on it, because motion controls are still the way of the future in this game. Here's the tutorial with a tiger butterfly, and the only reason I know that is because of Animal Crossing, and I didn't realise I had to press A. Oh. No, it's not. It's shaking the remote. It's A. It said that in the tutorial. I just completely skim read it because I didn't really do it. Oh, it's a swallowtail butterfly. I know what I'm talking about, I swear. You don't have a bug cage? A bug cage is necessary, man. Um, necessary. <laughs> anyway. You need a bug cage. You can't keep an insect if you don't have a bug cage, man. You don't say. Here, use mine. You'd better get going. And we've seen the bug collect, the bug collector, the bug collector already. And that was not the plot point coming up. I was talking about. Well, the actual one I was talking about was the one with um, Francis's quest. And I don't actually know. I have to go for. Oh, it's. I know. Never mind. What can I do for you? Oh, looks like that one wants to talk with you. Who's that one? That sounds really oddly worded. Wait, Francis is with her this whole time, what? Ah, ah, finally. After you left, I had second thoughts about sending you. I mean, since this is my issue, I should deal with it myself. I'm very sorry for any trouble I caused you. I'll take care of it myself from here. But I'm scared a little. Could you come with me, please? Okay then, let's go look for her. Wait, is she talking to me because she's facing Elaine? I'm confused. Um, excuse me. Is there an Elaine or a family with an Elaine that lives around here? Well, yes, because we saw her name tag was Elaine. You are? My name is Frances. My goodness! Francis, is that really you? It's me, Elaine. Elaine? Yes, that's right. Long time no see. You haven't changed a bit. Elaine? Um, that's right. I'm Elaine. It's so good to see you. How is your family? Are they fine? Elaine? What? I, I need to, to apologise to you. For what? I, I killed you. Say what? <laughs> oh, I get it. Yes, we certainly had a big fight. That last day we played together. Well, I got scars and even bled a little. You know, for kids. But that was nothing. All the scars are gone now. Actually, it's me who should be apologising here. That last day, my dad had just told me we were moving out. I wanted to tell you about us moving, 
but I just couldn't say goodbye. I was frustrated that I must have chosen the wrong words when talking to you. So that fight was actually my fault. I've been so sorry for all these years. I'm sorry too. You know, I became a nurse because I felt so helpless that I couldn't help you when you were hurt. Oh, so I was actually right then. I completely forgot that she said this. In that light, I should be thanking you as well as apologising to you. You are welcome, and it's okay. <laughs> We're still friends, right? Oh, silly, of course. We are and will be friends forever. Thank you. Wow, I'm so relieved. I'm not afraid of tomatoes anymore. How convenient, because that's exactly how getting over a phobia works. <laughs> Although, actually, have they, if everyone's felt that sense of relief once they realised that something they thought was bad wasn't so bad after all. Thank you so much, Indigo, and that might be Francis' version of it. Okay, so that quite wasn't as wasn't quite as like dramatic as I remembered it being. Like I misremembered it as having like um, a full like letterbox cutscene, but um, I must have been thinking of the cutscene with Potent because I remember, I vaguely remember seeing that in like a, a thumbnail for a YouTube video. And also I realised like after recording the previous episode that you could increase the text speed, so I'm going to do that. And but it is still a really nice game. Like they're not afraid to say die. They're afraid. They like have all these random background characters. Have that characters that you think would be like minor characters have character development, and they all intertwine with each other. It's really nice. But I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do yet. Next. Oh, I only trust. Oh yeah, we're supposed to catch a cabbage white butterfly. I completely forgot about that. I thought this would be a good introduction to mini games, but that's actually in a little while. And I know what to look for. Um, the cabbage white butterflies are. Gee, I wonder what colour they are. And they're also a, a recolour of the Swallowtail model. I also wonder if some insects are the same model then. And I don't know what the blue guard is for. Is there a key item we have to find or is it just always there even when we don't need it? I think it's the latter. That's not what we need. I think that Clark might have actually told us where you can find the Cabbage White Butterfly and I'm just being an idiot by skipping over his text. I hope not. That's that's a grasshopper. So I'm gonna get it anyway, because we haven't seen it already. Oh yeah, and you have to make your dog turn, I forgot about that. Oh. And if you just miss it once then you won't be able to catch the insects, so that's been like okay, they're not all insects, but still. I've got to wonder, like, does every language have a convenient word bug which doesn't quite mean insects? Because Japanese does, and obviously English does, but what about other languages? Because in some languages the bug type is called the insect type from Pokemon. <gasps> I'm gonna go at Zoomy Lake because- go at- I'm going to go to Zoomy Lake because I think the Cabbage White Butterfly might be there. All these places kind of look the same in the early game. So I always- I know- I can tell them apart but I don't really know- necessarily know what can be found where. I've got to love how that ex that exterior thing look looks nothing like Zoomy Lake. Hello. Also, that reminds me, in the episode where I first went to Zoomy Lake, when I posted it on Twitter, I gave the message um, something like, it rains die in New Zealand because of my really weird comment about why the kiwis were blue and then for some reason it was liked by some travel company. Okay then. And here's a dragonfly, I'm trying to catch it. I have already told you my history with dragonflies back in my Red Rescue Team Let's Play. I'm bad at this. Wow, this is annoying. I hope it's not as hard on the PlayStation 2 version. Alright, I'm saying that like being sarcastic like I know the answer to it, but I don't. I'm going to have a look in the green meadows, that's it. I couldn't remember what it's called. I always call it Hoyoi Plains, which is the name of like a Hoyo pair from the Wind Waker. Wait, wait, what does Hoyoi ma ma mean? Mean, yes. Except it's probably not pronounced Hoyoi, it's probably not pronounced Hyoi because of Japanese. And also the Hyoi pairs kind of look like gyroids from Animal Crossing. Hmm. 
Actually, I'm going to check my memo because I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed that I can't find a butterfly. <sighs> Challenge of Clark. Uh, go to places. Oh, so, so they are, can be found in Zoomy like them, but not only there. I think I'll go back there just for the sake of not having to backtrack as much, even though backtracking in this game is a lot shorter than I remember it, as I mentioned before, because this game world is actually quite tiny. microphone because for ages the microphone I've been using is um, one from a pair of turtle headphones that I can't use because I snapped the connector but the microphone still works and I've plugged it into a USB thing because otherwise um, they, the game audio comes from my laptop or Audacity doesn't recognise it, it's just a habit of mine at this point. Um, oh! There's a hidden object! Lake mud. We don't need that yet, but it's a bit weird that I don't I can't, actually. I have a vague idea what it's for, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm not. It's a bit weird that we have we have found an object we haven't been told about yet. But it's called sequence breaking or speed running tactics. Has anyone ever speed run this game? I'm not sure. I'm, I feel like Sugar Corner are trying to find the petal tail dragonfly right now. I wonder if the petal tail dragonfly is even in this game. And also, this is going to date this video, but a lot of people are predicting that Trigger Chrono Trigger's next Let's Play is going to be either Chrono Trigger or Yokai Watch, but my predictions are Eternal Sonata, because apparently he's mentioned that he's wanted to Let's Play this for years, and he once said in an interview that he wanted to Let's Play it. Or Ever Oasis, because he said it was the birth of the new franchise, and he really wants people to try it out, and birth makes it seem like it's a relatively new one, and no one played Ever Oasis. So apart from me and also some other people I'm not trying to be special or anything but still and I kind of want to have a record of if I was right or wrong just on the off chance that I am right like Wes Johnson correctly predicting that A Squadron is a girl back in 2005 if any of you are interested in Power Rangers I know that at least some of you might possibly be because I did a video about it a few months ago and I have another video about Power Rangers SPD planned. I wonder if the time of day, time of day affects what insects can be found, because I'm not sure. I mean, it's really nice, by the way, how there's like a path leading up to this gravestone. I never noticed that until now. Also, I hope the alligators or crocodiles don't kill me. I feel like I might cut until I actually find it at this rate. I might as well catch this ladybird, or not. Oh, what about this dragonfly? Alright, so this is Kada. I think. Oh gosh, this is hard. I'm worried that even if. Oh, wait, they don't despawn. That's good. It has like fly eyes, though. Also, did you know that insects don't actually see the word in fragments and that's just a myth? I, look, I saw an article about it once because I was researching how butterflies see because I want to write a character who's a beautifly in a Pokemon fanfiction. <sighs> And it was a cicada, I was right. It was always called green head cicada when the entirety of it is green. Or at least it is in this game, I don't know if it is in real life. I don't know any cicadas personally, but I do know that Bill is here, but I don't want to talk to him because I don't want this episode to go on for even longer than it should. And, no, that's Bill. And that's not Bill. Okay, then I'll talk to them in a future episode, but please remind me to do so. Also, why does the music have to stop between loading screens when areas have the same music? But not when you're being delivered. Honestly, is that supposed to be like um, when, like in the early days of the American Post Office, you could post children? I wonder how many in-game days have passed already. I'm gonna go back to talk to Clark to see if there's anything I've missed here. Or not. What do you want? Ha! Huh. Message from Bill, huh? I don't trust you. Oh wait, they're just repeating dialogue now. Fishing is everything to me. I don't trust dogs who don't fish. Okay, here's what we'll do. You bring me a certain fish and I'll start listing you. Ca catch a black bass and live give it. Catch a black bass and bring it to me. I'll trust you if, if and only if you can catch a black bass. Well, you have some trust issues. So I'll be here waiting. 
I don't know where to find a black bass, but I'm fairly sure that I've caught one before, so I can just look it up. Or not. Is there a way to look at it? List, that's it. Fish. We have not caught a black bass yet, but according to the memo... Why did I say it like that? Um... They live in Zoomy Lake again. I want to wonder if there was some sort of error and they're both found in different places and they just copied the text without really thinking about the context. That could have happened, but I hope it didn't. I only trust... Oh. Okay, he doesn't tell you where specifically you can find it. I hope I can find a black bass then, because I don't want this recording to go on for hours. me in um cats and dogs 2 which is basically just a ripoff of this game made by the same company as i mentioned before at one point and um, there's a side quest where you have to or actually a story quest where you have to find a fish and they say it's in one place but it's actually a different place or there's another one where there's fish supposed to find a given area and it is in an area but only a hidden fishing point a kokani salmon what language does that come from or is it japanese it's supposed to be kokane because normally the A sound isn't written with two E's in Japanese. Oh, second try. Eat your heart out, Clark. So you caught a black bass, huh? I didn't know anyone could fish better than I can. It wasn't hard. It was literally the second fish that appeared. You win. I heard Peter in the Popsville could use some help. Why is there an article before Popsville now? They say he has a problem with love. Maybe you can help. I don't actually know who Peter is. Have I spoken to him already and just forgotten? And we also get their badges for some reason, even though we already have one. We just hoard them now. Are they like tokens? Can we exchange them for gifts at the counter? Next time on my extremely riveting Let's Play of the Dog Island, we will be helping out Peter with his love problems and hopefully finding a cabbage white butterfly along the way and maybe talking to those two dogs at the beach as well. Until then, stay interesting!